We're back at another edition of the First and Short Podcast with JJ and the Goose. And tonight we're going to be discussing the Thursday night matchup, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tennessee Titans. So, JJ, who you got? Well, the Titans haven't looked very impressive this year, but they get neither of the Steelers. It is in Nashville, but I'm going to go with the Steelers because when you have Ben Roethlisberger, you've always got a chance. I mean, got a chance. (laughs) They're playing the Tennessee Titans. They ought to win. Don't don't make it seem like, you know, they're kind of prayer in this game. I mean, they ought to win. Tennessee's not not very good. Their starting quarterback's out, and they're relying on the old man uh, Hasselback, who actually has done okay. He's got a 62% completion rate, although he's thrown three interceptions. Um... The Steelers are getting Rashad Mendenhall back last week. He looked great. Uh, 14 carries, 81 yards, and a touchdown, running for more than five yards a clip. Uh, Tennessee Titans have still not located Chris Johnson, and so they've got that imposter out there. On the season, 210 yards and 2.9 yards a carry. He's only gone over 100 yards once. Things aren't looking good for him. Last week, he got 24 yards on 15 carries, albeit against a very good Minnesota defense. I don't see the Tennessee Titans going anywhere. I mean, I don't think the Steelers are where they were a few seasons ago at the Super Bowl, but they're certainly good enough to beat these guys on the road. I see the spread's only five points. That is way too low. I'd have the Steelers winning by 10 easily. Uh, you know, their offense isn't looked great, but Ben Roethlisberger's been very serviceable. You know, 18, eight touchdowns to one interception, 65% completion. Like I said, they've got Mendenhall back, which should open up some things, uh, you know, downfield. And Antonio Brown and Mike Wallace are, you know, one of the best receiver tandems in the league uh, for my money. This is a clear, clear matchup for me. Got to be the Steelers unless something goes wrong. See, you keep pointing out offensive stats. I think it's the defense, which is why Pittsburgh's going to win this game. Look at this. The Titans are allowing 424 yards a game. (laughs) 280 through the air and 144 on the ground. The Steelers, on the other hand, are only allowing 280 a game. The the Steelers' offense, even banged up, but with Mendenhall coming back, they should have no problem moving the ball and scoring on this Titans defense. While their defense no. has been better, uh, and, and they've, they've had a couple games without Troy Palomalu, it is important to note that he will be out for this game. Uh, they, they should have Lamar Woodley back, though, this week, so that'll be an improvement. And James Harrison returned from injury last week against the Eagles and looked very good. Yeah, I mean, Pittsburgh's a superior team. I think we all know that. You know, it is football, so anything can happen, you know, just... On Monday night, you, you saw the Texans, which I think most people would say is a superior team. The Jets only win by six points. You know, it's the NFL inherently, the distance between the best and the worst team is pretty close. Um, but, yeah, I, I think the Steelers, looking on paper and, and what they've done this year, it, it's hard not to say that they'll win. Um, i got to agree with you. So, uh I think that should just about wrap it up. I think it's pretty obvious that the two of us feel the Steelers are going to take this Thursday night matchup. Thanks for listening to another edition of the First and Short Podcast. Alongside the Goose, this is JJ. Thanks for listening.